of God, hallelujah, and the word of the Lord God says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, Amen. for the Lord upholds him with his hands. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging for bread. Lord God, we thank you for your almighty word. We're asking, Holy Spirit, as you move up and down these aisles, touch every man and every woman, every boy, every girl. And we said, amen. 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 Thank thank you. His presence in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. The steps of a good man are ordered. By the Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. That, that's yes. something for you. That's a, for me, that's a little sea line right there. Yes. Oh, that's a little moment that just kind yes. of that's marinate. Yes. Yes. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. I want you to know, people of God, there is a word as well as a message. The word for today, the word for today, get ready, get ready. The word for today is alignment. All right. All right. Alignment. You're like, oh, wait a minute now. Alignment. Okay. So while you're writing it down, tell your neighbor, alignment. 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 Hallelujah. That's the word, but the title of today's message is, it's time to line up. Okay. Oh, wow. Jesus. Wow. 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 of alignment. I understand that alignment, but if you look up align, it means order. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It means to get in line. So the Lord God is allowing us to uh, embrace the word today. The steps of a good man are ordered by, that means they're, they're in alignment. In case you didn't know, where you are is not by accident. Okay. Mm. Wow. Because God is letting us know that children of God, I am actually, uh, it's God's putting you and in alignment. Yes, He's getting you straightened and up some things. Yes, I, I didn't give you Isaiah 28, but it says, line of precept upon precept. Come line on. Line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think that one was so familiar yes. to you, but the Lord God said, I want you to understand that I, I am aligning you up. Yes. Yes. Jesus. I'm getting some of us, uh, some children of God, in perfect alignment. Thank you, Lord. Wow. See, whatever was out of order, oh, 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 Lord, have mercy. 
I was like, Lord, are you going somewhere with that? Huh? Yeah, uh, 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 a simple, a simple definition for some of us, and you're like, well, you know what? I, I need something real simple. He's properly positioning. Mm, all right. <laughs> he is wow. properly positioning a state or, or, or properly doing it. It's not going to be out of order. Whatever was out of order, somebody better get ready. God's about to put some things That's in. Right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All that, that this, hang out. No, 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 no. You will get in line. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Position yes. properly in order to function. Uh -huh. yes. God, God believes yeah, yeah, in order. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. God. Yes, God. God does believe in order. He does not operate in disorder and or chaos. My Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. You got to be able to line up. You got to allow, allow yourself to operate in line with what God is doing. God is properly positioning us in order to function. So don't think it's strange that you are here at a time or that you're uh, living at a time or that you moved here at a certain time or you're stopping by this way on your way to glory. The Lord God said, I am lining you up. I am doing an alignment. You see, in the natural, we, we see we do hear the word alignment, but we don't we very seldom hear alignment when it comes to people. Now, I, now, now, if I, I got the men in the house, they know what I'm talking about. That person said, you need your, you need to get your will alive. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. Nine times out of ten, uh, when, when we go to the mechanic, Come on. they're going to tell you, because see, you're driving this way. Somebody know what I'm talking yeah. about. You're driving it while you're driving, and you take your hand off the steering wheel, let them begin to... Come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, you're like, I'm going straight, but yet, when I take my hand off the wheel, I, mm -hmm. I begin to... Oh, 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 sometimes it's... Yeah. All right, now. Mm -hmm. See, y'all need to catch that thing spiritually. You need to catch that thing spiritually. Because, see, you're like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because God does tell us that he's in control, and when he says... Jesus takes the wheel. When Jesus said, whenever you are able to get your hand off of the wheel and your stuff start going, you need to get yourself in line. Amen, amen. Because if you're taking your hand off, your vehicle should be straight on point. Oh, I'm going to tell you, this is the deliverance of the cleanup message. This is the out to the amen. You're like, wait a minute. Because the Lord God said, if I'm asking you to get an alignment, that means that any mechanic will tell you that if you don't get an alignment, yes. it'll damage your vehicle. Yes. 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 It'll run, but over time, yes. it'll keep wearing out your tires. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Somebody yes. got some worn out tires. Yes. Okay. Wow. You're wearing out, and you're like, I'm so tired of this. Oh, oh, you might need an alignment. <laughs> you're like, look, I don't understand Every time I do, that I'm, 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 I'm worn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm worn in this yes. area. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord God is speaking to us. He said, when you're delivered, you can talk about yes. it. You're like, you know what? If you're worn, you know what? Take your take the responsibility right now. Can you be like, Lord God, I know that's been my prayer. Lord God, I'm a little bit tired of this. Yes. yes. Lord God said, okay. Make sure that you're in alignment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure. You know what? Before we look out, let's look in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I, I, I love that about yes. yes. Because, yes. you know, don't get me wrong, there's some things sometimes that yes. I, but let's yes. let, let's take, let's be caution to our vehicle. Yes. Yes. Caution to our spiritual yes. lives. Yes. Before yes. I'm going to start looking out, let me make sure if I take my hand off, if I'm going to go straight. Oh, yes. Yes. Or I'm going to go to the club. Which oh, 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 No, I'm not going to do that. Or be like, you know, why not? Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, it's quiet now. I meant, I, I meant right there. I yeah. meant to get that out right there. Because God said, I need you to be in, in, in alignment. And you're like, what? That means being in his will. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, some people don't even realize, but in Mark chapter number 14, when, it, when the Lord got to the garden of Gethsemane, and he cries out, not my will, but yeah. my will be done. Day. But I want you to know the crucifixion took place in the garden. Yes, yes, yes. yes. See, so yes. wait a minute. No, I know I got the nails. And yeah, but see, mentally, he had to be in the yes. will of the Father. Yes. yes. And see, some of us, you gotta be in the will of the Father. Yes. You gotta get oh. your mind right. Yes. Yes. And you gotta get into an alignment. God telling you to do this and that, you kicking and scratching all up. You need to get in alignment. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. It hurts so much. Yes. Because big eyes, like I thought I was in the line. Oh. Oh, well, you know big eyes. Yeah. I'm not the only one that knows big eyes. I know no. big eyes. Big eyes. No. big eyes show up when I don't want big eyes to show up. Yes. Big eyes will say, you for me? Or you for me? <laughs> I am a child of the most high God. Jesus. Don't do anything. I, like I said, you too need a little Yes, 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 yes. And sometimes, yes. And sometimes, yes. And sometimes, yes. and sometimes yes. they give you a little room. You're, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Start, don't you're like, wait a minute. Uh-huh. And the Lord God said, that's why he allows the messages and words like yes. to put us in check. You know, yes. I, I can't be too concerned about what my neighbor going to do. Yes. But yes. I got to be concerned about what I got to do. Yes. That's when the anointing flows. Yes. That's when the power of the Holy 
Ghost flow where it can destroy the yoke yes, when Lord. you have the word and the time. Yes, and I am always from Galatians yes, 4 4 in the fullness of time. Yes, God brought forth this yes, son. Lord. Not before and not after. after. The Lord got said, He couldn't bring the Lord before that time because it wasn't a fullness of time. Yes, Lord. There were still some things that were, but in Galatians 4 4 it said, Jesus came in the fullness of time. I brought forth my son in the that means it was just right on time. Yes. It was I'm preaching to some individual. God's about to position you for some divine alignment. Some things that weren't happening for you. The Lord God said, I am strategically positioning you to get in the flow of the Holy Ghost. You gotta get ready for that. Because in case you know what the Holy Spirit does move in a flow. A flow. You're like, what? But yes. Why did he say when the pool when the pool of Bethesda, when the water was stirred? He said, get in. But it wasn't 
them first. Right. But I did call them. Yes. So I figured I'm pretty good. Right. Yes. And it works pretty good for a good while. Yes. Uh -huh. But then the Holy Spirit began to yes. tap yes. 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 And you're like, wait a minute, uh -huh. wait a minute. I'm calling on the Lord, Lord, Lord. It's after five, Lord. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I, it's like, I don't, I, I hear you, but I'm trying to spiritually mature you. Mm -hmm. yes. I hear you all day. See, a lot of people, that, that right there, I canceled about 20 people. Yes. You know, even those because they're like, you mean you want me to grow up? Yes. 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 Okay. You've got to have to mature. And say, so, you know what? Yeah. I'm not, you know, uh, some of us, we need to take our lickings right now. Yes. Yes. Go ahead and repent. Yes. And get back to where get a, get a doing what you used to get a doing. Yes. Somebody first thing you know, I now all of a sudden we toss and bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> now all before you took it up, leave me alone. I'm in a car. <laughs> Freezing. I remember, remember the time. Do you know how cold it is? But you know how hot God is? <laughs> I would tell her, you know, you're in a cold closet, but it's hot in here because the Lord. But I was, it was my, the conviction that I had. Nobody told me to do it. Nobody. I wasn't it wasn't broadcast. Nobody knew what I was doing. I tell you what, I was there so much that if my kids needed me, they knew where I was. Amen. Hey, uh, oh, I'm going to record and brag on the Holy Ghost. Whenever your child is in trouble and they don't go looking in the car, they go and they don't just go running all over the house. They go to your prayer closet. Yes. Then you know, yes. and that's yes. where they find. They, it, matter of fact, it was a time my daughter met me in my closet before I got there. <laughs> she wanted to talk. But I'm saying that because that's the Holy Ghost. Because yeah, yeah, they have a track record. I'm bragging yeah, on the Holy yeah, Ghost. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. take that the wrong way, shame yeah. on you. Because the yeah. Lord got saved. Because see, I, I, my, my, my ways were, you know, to please Him. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so yes. they recognized my location. Mm. If there was prayer that needed to be done, they knew exactly where. And if they needed prayer like that, they knew where to find. You know, like they, they, right. they didn't go to the church. I know they went in that closet in the corner. Mm -hmm. And they waited. Waited. And sure enough, I did. I know what you did. Hey. <laughs> they knew exactly. I love that about Amen. God. Yes. But see, I'm saying that to let you know that to line up, I had to be in alignment. But when I didn't get to that closet like I need to get to that closet, mm -hmm. all of a sudden things flow all right. Mm -hmm. But the Lord God began to tap, began to say, wait a minute. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't Amen. see you like I used to see you. Hey, come on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, wait a minute, you tell your business, Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Hey. Don't Ouch. stop acting around hey. like, you know what? Like, you yeah. got everybody yeah. falls short sometimes. Yes, God. And if I can be wrong, yes. you can tell you. Hey! Because of what I said, if it's struggling for you sometimes, yes, it might be struggling for them, too. Yes. And for them to hear, they need to understand that, you know what? You're not, you're not superhuman. You got the Holy Ghost with you, but the same Holy Ghost is with them, too. Yes. And so let them understand that, you know what, there are times that you get in that place, you're like, ah, oh. and the Lord God is saying, but children of God, I'm telling you, seek me first. Yes, Lord. Put God in the proper alignment of your order of the day. Put him, you're like, well, wait a minute, what if I work the night shift? Doesn't matter. God knows shifts. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 You're like, well, I don't work the night shift, so my somebody's 12, 12 noon is somebody 12. And the Lord, I said, I work some shit. He said, I, uh, you're like, wait a minute, when the Lord want God want? He said, I'm in the night watches. The same. Amen. Hey, yes. hey, yes. hey. Come on. Okay. Mm. And that the night watches, that mm. the, and yeah. I'll turn that to shift. That's mm. a, that, yeah. Mm. Come on, y'all, y'all, I'm losing. Mm. That's like a oh, graveyard yeah. shift. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And if you work the late night hours, you know what I'm talking about. That's the night. Oh, like I said, I'm in the watch. I'm in the night watches. Yes, the Lord. So that means, uh, so that means the very first thing. So if you're working the night shift and you don't get up till night, don't let the enemy whip you and say, well, you don't go to, you don't go to work until 12 midnight or until 10 o'clock at night. And you getting up to go to work at 10, it's not early in the morning. That's the devil lying to you. Yes. Because if you get up at 10 to be to work yes. at 11, uh -huh. 10 or 5, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes, right. He'll tell you like, well, I never thought of it that way. You need to. That's right. Because that's how he does. He'll play. Well, he'll tell you, well, it's not, it's not, it's not morning. All right, love. But it is your morning. Yes. Yes. It is your morning when you wake up. So now you just pull, pull the veil back and say, whenever your eyes open, yes. first thing, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Matter of fact, let's give God some praise right there. Thank you, Lord. You see, not seeking him first. And it's righteousness. So all these, that's why your day been going the way your day been going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Right. Like, wait a minute. That goes both ways. So if you've been seeking them first and things have been working out, you're like, well, I don't know how you did that. Well, to, to God be the glory. Amen. If you haven't been seeking them first, you're like, Lord God, I don't know how you do it. The Lord God said, well, you need to get to me. Amen. 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 Come on now. Amen. I did say that the Lord God said that he's lining us up. Yes. God's putting some things in alignment, properly positioning you. And that's why I'm telling you, you got to be at the right place at the right time. You definitely have to. I, I, I didn't give you the text, but I'm pretty sure you can relate, those of you who know your Bibles, that David had to be at the right place at the right time. That brother had to be at the right place at the right time. Because when Saul, when, when Samuel went to his house, went to Jesse's house, with his all, <laughs> and he went there, and surely enough, all they had all the brothers there. Yeah, but yes. they loved David. Right, David right. Yes. They loved David. And surely they was in the field. But it was something that even all, let me go on right, sometimes a, sometimes a prophet don't discern and pick it up either. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. Wait a minute, Pastor. You talking about yourself. I'm just making it plain. You better learn how to hear from the Lord. Yes. You better learn how to hear from the Lord. Amen. You better learn how to hear from the Lord God and get your respect the check that you get. Yes. God will confirm it, but first seek Him. Yes. Then you worry about Him. Yes. Yes. Seek Him first. Right. Because whenever you do that, the Lord God is saying, sure, David was there, but the prophet, when the prophet came with his own, he said, oh, you know, I'm going there to celebrate. He came. Can you see Samuel with all of his oil? Ready to anoint mm. Eliab, I believe, in uh -huh. Mm. That brother was stood tall, statue, yes. almost looked like Saul. Because yeah, yeah. right. he was tall. Like. Yes. And so he's like, surely the Lord's anointed is in here. Yes. And you're like, wait a minute, if you read that text well in King and in, in Saul, uh, Samuel, thank you, Holy Spirit, you understand that the prophet was under the impression that person was going to be the anointed one. Uh -huh. And the Lord God said, do not look at the outward appearance. Wow. And you better start looking at the heart. Wow. Yes. wow. I said, wait a minute, here it goes right there. Uh -huh. Right place, and right time. Have to line up because, uh, 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 is it all right if I teach yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Stay right there in a perfect alignment because surely enough, that wasn't the one. Right. And when David finally came in, he asked his all of your sons. He said, there's yet one more. He's tending the feet. Jesus. You know what? The anointing will wait for proper alignment. Oh, yes. 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 